The uncle found a small bird. He picked up a closer look. This is actually a little girl. She had the features of a human and the wings of a bird. The uncle is a bird lover. He took the child home with him. The wife had never seen such a child before. They put the child in the basket. They found that except for the two little wings. The rest was just like a human child. The couple had been married for 30 years. They hadn't had a child. Perhaps this little bird child was a gift from the gods. The couple decided right away to treat the little bird child as their own child. They loved her with all their heart. The wife was very fond of her. When she was thirsty, she fed her with milk from her finger. This feeling of raising a child made my wife's motherly love overwhelming. Since she was a little girl, the couple named her Jimmy. From then on, their daily life revolved around Jimmy. The wife bought a doll, cut up her clothes. They made a tailor-made outfit for Jimmy. And the uncle began to assemble the baby carriage with care. When everything was ready, they put Jimmy in the stroller. Everything looked like it was in good shape. But the downside is, Jimmy always showed his wings. The wife didn't think it was appropriate. So she took out her socks that she had been saving for years and made a little cape for Jimmy. So she looked just like a normal child. The wife pushed Jimmy out in the sun. The housewives who passed by gathered around. They all thought the little one was so cute. They even wanted to touch him. Jimmy's secret was about to be discovered. The wife pushed the stroller away just in time. So they didn't find Jimmy's secret. Life went on. Jimmy grew up. Now she can't fill a bowl. And now she's trying to fly. The bird gene gradually takes effect. At night she sits in bed, looking out the window at the flocks of geese. Her heart naturally yearned to fly. Little by little Jimmy has grown up. She now looks just like a normal girl. But her daily joy is to play with the hens. She even makes chirping noises. Her wife wants to teach her to talk, to make her talk like a human. But Jimmy could only speak a few words of birds, no matter how patiently she taught him. Jimmy is still a bird by nature. Is it really possible to become a human? The little girl was sitting on the counter and sulking. Suddenly she saw something, suddenly landed with a wave of her wings, without saying a word on the floor of the spider smothered. Chicken tastes crunchy. The girl is a little bird person. Favorite food is a big plate of worms. Every time his wife prepares a separate meal of worms for Jimmy, watching Jimmy eat happily, she wanted to teach her to eat with cutlery. She found out that there is no way to teach the bird to use tools, but she didn't believe it. The next day, she took Jimmy to the restaurant for dinner. Jimmy immediately noticed the parrot in the cage. Birds of a feather flocked together. Jimmy wanted to play with the little parrot. She couldn't wait to flap her wings. Looking at Jimmy's playfulness, his wife sternly criticized her. And then a hunter came in with a chicken on his back. The wife realizes Jimmy must not be found. So she quickly took her to the toilet. She locked her in there to calm down. When she opened the door a little later, there was only a pair of shoes left on the toilet. Jimmy opened the window and flew away. The wife looked at Jimmy flying away from the sky. She was very anxious. Jimmy tried to follow the geese pace, but maybe it was the first time she flew. She lost her balance and fell straight down from the sky. Seeing the child she had worked so hard to raise, just like that, she flew away. The couple was a little relieved. Jimmy is a little bird after all. He must fly away, but they couldn't let go of their own hearts. So they decided to go south to look for Jimmy by train. On the other hand, Jimmy lost his balance from there. She fell down delicately, but she luckily fell on the bed. Jimmy, who was tired of flying, laid down on the bed and went to sleep. Anna, the owner of the room, found him. She saw Jimmy and was not afraid. Instead, she gently stroked her wings. The two thus became good friends. Because Anna is a single parent family, her father was usually very indifferent. With Jimmy's presence, she found her own little friend. So she built a bird's nest at home and would go on adventures in the forest. The two of them came to play in a forest. Jimmy waved his wings. Anna was watching over her from under the tree. On the other side, the couple searched for a day and didn't see Jimmy. All the hotels were full. They had to run to the woods to rest. Coincidentally, they met Anna and Jimmy. However, when Tom climbed up to look for them, Jimmy was left with only one pair of shoes and flew away. Seeing that their little friend was gone, Anna wanted to work with the couple together to find Jimmy. But Jimmy at this moment was still in a very difficult situation. Among the geese flying south, there was a little girl. The girl waved her wings also with the geese along the way. But the geese thought she was an intruder. Together in a flock, she could not resist the attack of so many geese. Soon she was knocked down. Jimmy fell to the top of the church. A crowd of spectators was attracted. The fireman arrives just in time. He came to the top of the tower. But I never thought the fireman was afraid of heights When he overcame his fear to find the little girl Jimmy flew away once again Only the fireman was left shivering on the tower The news on TV was on it By the time the couple noticed the news on TV They realized they missed Jimmy again So they went to the fireman's house To ask him which way Jimmy had flown It turned out that the fireman himself did not save Jimmy At home, he was depressed When the couple approached him They said they needed his help The fireman regained his composure He joined the Jimmy search team Jimmy was sitting by the window, talking to a little bird. As she talked, the bird disliked her for not being a local. Jimmy was not convinced at all. She was shooting at the bird. But the next moment, the hunter was aiming at the bird. The bird scattered and fled. Jimmy's cloak also floated down to the dry well with the wind. The team looking for Jimmy arrived at the well. 
firefighters looked at the well, it was too high. So Anna took the initiative to go down to look for. But the result is how cannot find. No news is good news. Jimmy was not hit, so they found a nearby hotel. Anna accidentally found. Jimmy was hiding under the bed. She was about to run out and call the couple. Jimmy flew away once again. The couple refused to give up, but Anna chose to stay at the hotel, waiting for her father to come. The firemen couldn't walk anymore, so they drove their own motorcycle, hoping to find Jimmy. Just at that moment, the wife looked through the binoculars. They spotted Jimmy. They drove over in a hurry. Unfortunately, the couple came too late. Jimmy was already flying in the direction of the sea, looking at the daughter who left. The two could only cling to each other. Maybe the free soul is not moved by the retention. Just as the husband was about to get into the car to leave, it suddenly had a premonition. So he ran back to the beach and found Jimmy floating in the sea. It turned out that Jimmy was still too small. Her strength was not enough to support herself to fly across the sea. Her strength failed her and she fell into the water. Her husband saved her from the waves and brought her home properly to celebrate the return of their daughter. The couple prepared a sumptuous meal of insects for Jimmy. But at night, Jimmy would only keep banging on the windows. The sky is her home. The couple knew Jimmy was destined to leave. Trapping her here, that's what would hurt her. So they found a perfect day and they released Jimmy back into the sky. She was free to fly. She found her true home. Maybe letting go is the real love. What the film is trying to tell us is, respect children's ideas. Parents should not tie their children down. I hope that every family relationship will be harmonious.